struggle of our times, the struggle between freedom and tyranny, between democracy and communism, is a serious, deadly struggle. And you, your life, will be affected by it. You know this. You also know that your part in that struggle will mean many kinds of service to the cause of freedom, and you will consider that service a part of citizenship. You know that you should include military service in your thinking, in your life plans, that you should plan for service and take steps toward getting ready for your service life. But then it all seems so remote, so distant from your life in school with your friends. You may say, why worry about all that now? Well then, when should you begin thinking about service? Here are three fellows who are thinking about that question. Suppose you begin, David. Well, you said something about why worry now. I'm worrying all right. I graduate in June and then... But everything changes so fast. One week they tell you you can pick your service, and the next it's a different story. I can't see any use in trying to plan anything until the last minute. Then your planning may be useful. You know... I have an idea there's lots of things you could be doing. If you knew what? Oh, what's the rush? I don't know why you drag me into all this. There's years to wait. Well, then if you're lucky, why, you get a soft job somewhere. Of course, if you're not so lucky. So long, fella. Thanks for the encouragement, Johnny. Now, who was it said you have years to wait? Well, the sophomores do. And juniors. That's what I thought, last year. But time sure goes fast. And all of a sudden, you wake up with service staring you in the face. Well, maybe. Well, suppose we see what we can find out together. Johnny, what do you really know about life and service? What is it like? Oh, you get basic training. You learn how to handle a gun. And if you get the brakes, well, you get into some special training school, learn a trade. Of course, if you don't get the brakes, well... But that basic training is pretty sure, isn't it? What do you know about that? Mike, what about you? Well, you get to wear a snappy uniform. The girls go for that. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice? I think it's pretty rough. You have to work hard and take orders. Well, I know my dad's worried. He thinks I'm not ready for... Well, for life and service. You know something? I don't think we really know much of anything about life in the service. Let me try to help you a little. Think. Think of a barracks, a big, plain, wooden building which you share with lots of others. Think of your own bunk, your own corner, that you must keep neat and orderly. Think of having no privacy, no chance to be by yourself. Think of long days of hard physical effort. Think of going, going, going until your feet ache and your shoulders sag. Think of intense mental effort, too. Think of studying hard, and you have to make good. Think of learning all kinds of new skills and learning them fast. Think of being homesick, terribly homesick and lonely. Think of acting under orders, quickly, obediently, intelligently, without questioning. Think of meeting new faces, hundreds of them, making new friends. Think of time on your own, away from home, with no one but yourself to guide your conduct. Whatever else it is, life and service is demanding. 
It demands top physical condition. It demands emotional balance and stability. It demands a well-developed set of moral standards. Well, David, those things hold true in every branch of service, under all conditions. Mike, service isn't all a pleasant lark. There are many things to prepare for. Johnny, there are so many things to be done that you'd be wise to start immediately. Yes, even though service seems years away. I know one place to start. That's finding out about service. We sure don't know much. Can you get stationed near your home? Uh, how do you get to be an officer? Why can't you come home on leave? What clothes should you take along to camp? Is it true they really shoot at you in basic training? Will certain courses in uh, high school help you? Whoa, slow down, fellas. I won't answer all your questions, but you can figure out where to get the answers. I wonder if there are any books here that would help. I have to ask the librarian. A recruiting office will give you lots of information. Only they might forget to tell you about the less pleasant side. Hey, some of our teachers are veterans. They could tell us a lot about the service if we asked them. Do you think we could visit a camp and really see what it's like? Would they let you in? They might. You could try finding out, couldn't you? But let's just say that you're right, Mike. One of your first steps is to get information, especially information about the services. Then what's next? Maybe you should check up on yourself. Well, I mean, if you're going to have to study hard in the service, think how good you are at studying now. Yes, and then practice up and learn to do better. What do you say, Johnny? Though, well, what's the rush? Johnny, you have a lot to do. You have such a big job ahead of you that it's time to begin now. Think, Johnny, what are the steps we've discussed? Find information about the services. Check yourself. See how well you fit in. Develop yourself. Get ready to fit in better. And I'd like to add one more. Start now, because there's so much to be done. For example, you'll want to read and study quite a bit about service, besides your other studies. You may want to replan some of your courses here in school. You'll want to have a general physical exam and perhaps take steps to build up your physical condition. That takes time, you know. You might check yourself emotionally. How well do you get on with strangers? How readily do you make new friends? Can you stand being away from home? What can you do if you have problems here? Well, Johnny, you can see that there's quite a bit to be done. I see. Start now, huh? Physical exam, study about the services, plan courses. I wonder if I could talk to my counselor sometime today. You know, I'm going to be busy. Well, Mike? Well, I guess if a sophomore ought to start now, a junior sure should. Only, well, I don't have so much time. I can't do all that. Maybe not. But there are things you can do, starting now. You can build up physical endurance. Even if you're in good health now, you can surely stand a regular program of exercise. You can learn responsibility. Ever have a part-time job? It might be a good idea for you. You can establish better contact with your church. The guidance and moral support you get there will be valuable to you later on. Yes, Mike? There are many things you juniors can do. Starting now. Uh-huh. There are things to do. Learn responsibility. Learn to work with people. Get a part-time job, huh? That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? And I've got a lot of studying I want to do, too. I guess I'll be pretty busy. Well, that puts me on the spot, all right. These guys are pretty lucky in a way. They have some time. I don't have much time. I'd really better get busy. Let's see. Find information. Check yourself. Develop yourself. Start now. Well, there are a lot of things I want to know about service. We all had questions. Let's work on finding the answers. As to checking myself, well, I've just had a physical exam. But maybe I better have my teeth examined, too. 
and have them fixed up if they need it. Develop yourself, get ready. Well, fellas, it looks as if I better use what time I have. It's a big job, isn't it? Yes, it's a big job fitting service into your life plans. Sophomore, junior, senior, wherever you are in school, now is the time to begin. Now is the time to begin. Thank you.